Hey guys, what is up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster, and in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to help you understand how tracks work in Premiere Pro. Um, so if you're editing, um, you're going to be throwing your, your clips into the timeline on different tracks, and uh, this tutorial is going to help you understand, you know, how, um, you know, if you put different video uh, video clips on top of each other on different tracks, how they interact with each other and how that works. Uh, so in my timeline here, um, I have a couple different um, assets that we're gonna we're gonna use for this example. So I have this you know vlog that I did for this channel a while back. Uh, I have this still image um, that takes up the whole frame, and then uh, also this uh, lower third text. So um, in in Premiere and basically most nonlinear editors. Um, it works from the, the, the top down. So um, whatever is on the highest track, that's going to show through first. And um, if uh, if it's just, you know, one clip, um, then it doesn't really matter what track you're on. So right here uh, where my time position indicator is, you know, I'm looking at this clip at this frame. And uh, it's just going to show this clip when I make it to this next clip. It doesn't matter what... Um, you know what track it's on. It's going to look for the topmost video on the track, if that makes sense. Um, same thing when I make it over here to this title. Um, it's going to pick on the topmost track what we're looking at. So what what gets um, you know a little confusing, um, especially when you're first starting out editing, is when you have multiple um, you know video tracks uh, of clips on when you have multiple uh, video clips on tracks on top of each other. Um, so that's what I'm going to walk you through over here in my timeline. So um, again, um, we're starting out. We're just seeing the, the vlog clip. Um, and I'm just going to change the color of this one real quick so you can see a difference. Uh, OK. Um, OK, so we're, we're we're looking down. That, that's how I always picture it, is that you're looking down uh, onto the timeline. And so we're seeing um, our vlog. And then when we make it over here, our time position indicator, it's over top of the picture and our vlog. Since the picture is takes up the whole frame as um, the same as the vlog, it takes up the entire frame, we're just going to see that picture. We're not going to see what's underneath. Uh, if we were to do something like lower the opacity, um, so I'm over here in effect controls, and I'm going to lower the opacity of the picture, then we're going to see that clip underneath show through. So um, again, this clip is at 50% opacity. So doing this will show through to the bottom. And then uh, if we add on our title, our title at 100% opacity, because we haven't touched that, that's showing through on top of all three of those. So again, Premiere is taking the topmost track, looking on top, and then going down. So um, right here where the lower third text sample is, since that's at 100%, None of the other two layers you can see underneath that lower third text sample. You know, if I were to drop their opacity, this one to, you know, 20%, you're actually seeing the two layers underneath of it as well. Um, and um, so if we go here, I took out that picture. So, you know, this is a little more real life example. Uh, let's bring this opacity back up to 100%. So, um, you know, if you're you, you want to throw a lower third or a logo or something on top of um, your video. That's the word, on top of, because you're putting it on on a more upper track, on a top track. Hopefully that makes sense. Sorry, I need some more coffee. Um, so you're throwing this lower third on top of your video. Um, and uh, that's, that's how you do that. Um, and... I think that's all I wanted to cover for video. And then for audio, just for your clarification, um, the audio tracks, they, they all work the same. There's no real hierarchy. So um, whatever's on, you know, A1, um, it's going to play at the same level as uh, if it were on A2 or A3. Um, just, you know, you just have to, you know, adjust the levels. That's how you would adjust the audio. Um, so there's no real advantages or disadvantages to what tracks, you know, you put your audio on. But for video... Um, just to recap, Premiere is going to look at that topmost layer and then work its way down. So if it's at, uh, it takes up the full screen and it's at 100% opacity, you're not going to see anything underneath of it. Uh, 
that's why you know you want to put your lower thirds, your logos um, on the you know upper track and things like your backgrounds um, on the more bottom tracks with you know things over top of it. So you know if I put a background, if I wanted to you know make this vlog smaller and put a background or a border behind it or something. Um, I would take it, you know, scale it down to 8% or whatever, and then take the background and put it on a track underneath of it. So take all this, slide it up one, and then under here on V1, that's where I would put, you know, that background track. So hopefully that makes sense. I think I rambled just a little bit more than I usually do, and I know I kind of ramble on these. So uh, if you have questions, uh, hopefully um, I'll be able to answer them. Please leave them in the comments. I uh, hope you found this helpful. I hope you uh, were able to take something from this. I know, um, you know, working in tracks, uh, it, it is it is a little confusing if you've never done this before. So um, again, any questions, leave them below. Uh, I would appreciate it if you give the, gave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, and remember, uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And I think that's it. I'm going to stop talking, grab some coffee, maybe some water too. All right, guys. See you around in the next video. Bye.